welcome back to Jensen Talk. Today I want to give a little review on my top three favorite swaddles. Swaddles were not really a thing, I think, until the last maybe like five or ten years. I know, like, how would you know, McKenna? But um, I don't really remember, like, my older sister really having swaddles. We didn't really have swaddles, like, when we were younger. I feel like we just had blankies, like, really, like, the loose-knit, like, quilt kind of blanket. So the other day, I was actually listening to a podcast with the woman who founded the company, Aiden and Anai, and that's that really popular muslin swaddle. So she was talking about how, so she's from Australia, and um, she was saying how in Australia, that's kind of always been a thing, like babies wrapped in like white muslin cloth and being brought home from the hospital and that. And she, she was saying it's like almost like a like industrial kind of thing. Like you buy the cloths and it's, I feel like it, it's like how we use bath towels. So anyway, it kind of inspired me to talk about some of my favorite blankets. So in honor of that, I guess I'll start with the Aiden and Anai. I feel like this is the biggest brand. Um, so... First of all, what's even the point of a swaddle? Um, so everyone says your baby will sleep better. Um, it just wraps them up so tight. And not only that, they literally look so adorable. Like just little burritos. It keeps them really warm. Um, they're lightweight, they're breathable. One of the things they mentioned on the podcast about these is the size of them. And it was so interesting because the hosts brought up the size of the blanket and they're like, how did you, how'd you choose the size? And um, the woman was just like, and I don't know her name. I should have looked, let me look it up. Okay, her name is Reagan Moya Jones. Um, another name that's listed here is Claudia Schwartz. So what up, Claudia? Anyway, so um, the girls on the podcast asked Reagan about um, the size of the blanket and she was kind of like, oh, that's just kind of the size. Like that's just what my manufacturer was doing, but it's actually the perfect size. It wraps your tiny baby just enough. Like there's not a ton of bulk. Um, you can kind of fold it in the way you need to and it just is literally perfect So another thing I like to do with these swaddles is use them almost as a burp cloth um, Those first couple of days when you come home from the hospital there is a liquid and fluid and Just stuff everywhere it's formula on everything. There's drool. There's spit up. There's poop. There's tears There's a lot of pee. There's just things everywhere and it's so nice just to have this Kind of really durable material that you can just use to wipe up anything it's really soft and gentle on your baby's skin it's soft on you um so these are really really great to have i got probably 15 is not an understatement i got so many swaddles and i was feeling a little overwhelmed i have a huge basket that i keep all the swaddles in and i was feeling like okay do i really need all of these swaddles and yes you do because you're using one every time you wrap her up you're using them to wipe her up you've got one in the diaper bag you've got them in the car when they wash they almost get softer like they just wear so well i know they have a few different products anyway this sounds like a commercial it's really not i just really like these blankets if you know someone who's pregnant, get them swaddles. They're gonna get a hundred other swaddles, but it's amazing just to have these, just to grab them in the middle of the night. Swaddles all the way. Okay, so another brand um, that I've used is um, Little Unicorn, and they, I've seen them in a lot of different boutiques kind of around um, where I live, and then um, this one I actually purchased online. So this is so cute, it's literally, like little houses. I feel like little unicorn prints are like the prints you wouldn't really think of for baby stuff. Like it's not just like butterflies or like polka dots or anything. Like they're so cute. There's like vegetable print ones. There's like, there was a farm print one that I thought was really cute. Anyway, um, so I really, really liked this one. Little Unicorn had such an awesome sale. I think I got this one for $12. So Little Unicorn is another place that I like to find these same um, kind of muslin swaddles. Okay, so switching gears a little bit, there's a brand called Kiki Pants from, and I believe it's also an Australian brand. I feel like that's kind of a theme. Um, and they make the softest jammies, the softest jammies. They're so adorable. My cousin actually gave me one of their blankets, one of their um, 
it's a really soft jersey material and at first I was like what this isn't a muslin blanket I'm I don't what would I even do with this they actually are the greatest they're so this is one that I got like right after Halsey was born um because after we had her I finally used that kiki pants swaddle and I was like wait these are awesome I found this one on Amazon but you can shop at their website and I think they're probably sold in some boutique and then they're just like huge and stretchy I don't know the point of me holding this up <laughs> One thing I really like about these is they're so stretchy. They're a little bit thicker, um, so I feel like they're just a little bit warmer. It's pretty cold here in Utah, so I like to have just blankets of varying sizes. So the Kiki Pants ones are just so, so soft. I seriously want one for myself. Okay, last blanket we are just obsessed with is the Sarah Noni blanket. Technically, it's not a swaddle, but it's a blanket that we've really, really loved. Um, I registered for it and so I received it as a gift, which I just thought was so sweet. Halsey is actually sleeping with it right now and I like just did not have the heart to like try to slide it out from underneath her. They're just this super soft minky blanket. I could talk about them forever. They're amazing because we um, actually use it a lot in her car seat so it's a little bit thicker so when you know we're outside or taking her you know in and out of the car um it's keeping her really warm she sleeps with it it's just like that classic soft like first blankie i'm so excited for her to have it forever and just um be able to cherish that one so those are my favorite swaddles um Overall, I would say these muslin blankets are just the greatest. I didn't feel like I also had to buy a ton of burp cloths. So it was great that they're kind of this multi-use um, item. And I think you're going to love them if you try them. These are some of my favorite. I have a hundred more. I could talk about them forever, but I just thought I'd keep it short and sweet today. This, this is called postpartum hair loss. And you don't realize it until your hair is up in like the tightest ponytail. And you're like, who is that person with the huge forehead? It's me. Like my hairline, I'm getting cul-de-sacs. Anyway, so those are my favorite swaddles. Um, I like the Aiden and Anai. I like the little unicorn and the kicky pants swaddles. So let me know what some of your favorite swaddles are.